Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to write output to a file. To get started, let's just write out some information to the console. So here I output the string hello world. And then we can obviously not just output strings, we can output any information. So another example here, I output an equation 5 plus 3 equals and then the result of 5 plus 3 and I add a line break. So when I run this, this will be shown on the console since I do C out, so console out. So here we see it popping up the string and then another line with the equation. Now when I want to write something to a file, it works pretty much the same way, but we have to add a, add a include directive. So I add include fstream. That allows us to output a stream of characters to a file. And the first thing that we want to do is we create an object of ofstream, so output file stream. You can name this whatever you want to. It's just essentially another variable. So I call this out. And the first thing that we want to do with the out object is associated with a file in our file system. And to do this is by calling a function on it. So I do out.open. And here it expects a string argument. And the string is the absolute path to the file. So in this case, users cs hero desktop temp.txt. So the file I store on the desktop and I name it temp.txt. It, it really could be this uh, could be any file that you want to name it. Um, so let's actually look on the desktop. So the desktop here is blank. There's no file at all. And the nice thing about the open method, open function is that if the file doesn't exist, it will create a new file. If it already exists, it will essentially replace the content in the file. Then, now instead of writing these two lines to, to the console, we write it to our out object. So we do, we leave everything the same. What we say now, insert the string here into our out object. Insert all the, this here, the integers and the strings, the entire equation to our out object. And out again, is not a fixed name. It's really just the name of my variable that I created up here. So if I named this anything else, I would use the other name here. The last thing that we want to do is whenever we work with file, we want to be sure that after we're done with it, we close the file. So I call the close function on it. Now let's run this again. And what we we'll see is that the console has no output because we didn't write to the console anymore. Remember that we written this time to the file. So let's go to the desktop. And here we see it created a file that previously didn't exist. So if we open this, we can see the content now. Hello world, and then the equation. And this is all that I wanted to show you. This is how you can write anything to a file. Remember, it works just the same way like you write to a console. The only difference is we need to have the include directive, create an object. You can, if you don't know objects, just create a variable of ofstream uh, associated with a text file um, on the computer and then just use everything the same. And important is also that we close it at the end. Thank you for watching.